we have this kind of chunk here that's sitting on top of the mineral soil versus this one that's uh, all the organic materials being mixed into the mineral soil. Uh, how would you characterize these different? Oh, well, well we, we, um, we actually have different names for these. Uh, and uh, for, for years now, um, there have been a number of different classification systems for forest floor types, or we actually refer to them as humus forms. And um, I can explain to you the difference between a forest floor and a humus form at this point, probably quickly. A uh, forest floor is the material that's sitting on top of the mineral soil. Mm -hmm. And the humus form, which I'll tell you what these are um, in a bit, uh, is the, uh, the forest floor. And in addition to that, the mineral soil that's been impacted by a lot of organic matter input, which okay. is the AH. So humus form is LFH plus AH. And the forest floor is just. Um, the organic horizons. Oh, and so these are two different humus forms, or essentially two different forest floor types. Mm -hmm. uh, the name that's used for this is a MOR, M-O-R, or MOR humus form. And the name that's used for this is the MUL humus form. And, uh, and as you can see, they are very different. And do each of them have a characteristic horizon that you'd expect to see? Mm -hmm. Yeah, then they're de demonstrated very well here. The, uh, this moor is going to have a relatively deep or number of organic horizons. The F and the H will be relatively deep. Mm -hmm. And uh, the FM, which we find here, the FM, I can demonstrate to you what that's like. As I pull this out, actually, let's take it from the side here, you can hear that ripping sound, That's, that sound, as I'm pulling it out, is the um, fungal mycelia and also roots that are breaking, that's holding that together in a matted way. So that's a, an FM, or a, a mycogenous F horizon. And that's characteristic of a more, a fairly deep one. You can even see probably some colors here, some perhaps yeah, some, yellow. some yellow and white. Yeah, some yellow and white, which would be an indication of the, the fungus that's in this horizon. And so that's, that's a main characteristic here. In this one, in the mull, the big characteristic is that you have really no in the, uh, or little F or H horizon, mm -hmm. and you have a very, very deep AH horizon. Okay. So. Uh, I know there's no F here, but what kind of F would you have if there was one present? Right, okay. If, if there was an F here, it would have um, a different F, not the FM, but it would have what's called an FZ. And an FZ is a zoological um, F horizon, which just means, it just refers to all the fauna that's active in there, Those the earthworms. earthworms yeah, okay. that's right. So, and if you want to know what it would look like, it would have um, uh, faunal, um, pellets in it, which would be the basically the feces that, that, that are coming from the organisms. Mm -hmm. And you'd see these little round faunal pellets in the F horizon. And it would not hold together as this holds together. Mm -hmm. It would just be like this. So it, it's similar to this. Without that mineral material. Yeah, without the mineral material. It just falls apart into little granular blocks of material. Mm -hmm. The reason that they are so different is can have to do with a number of factors, but the main factor would be that this is uh, growing under conifers, and the conifer needles tend to be, in this case, somewhat more um, less nutrient rich than are the deciduous leaves over here. Mm -hmm. And so the, the faunal activity is very minimal here. Yeah. And the decomposition is not being carried out by organ, uh, organisms such as earthworms and other macrofauna or even mesofauna. Um, it's being carried out by fungus. And so that means that we have a more um, in this condition. Sometimes this is of lower pH as well. And another thing I would like to point out is that the earthworms here are very active in incorporating the organic material. Um, if you were to add earthworms to some sites, even perhaps to this site, those earthworms can actually change the site into more of a mull type okay. um, forest floor. So the fauna uh, are having a big impact here, whereas um, here they're absent. 